G'day, how you going? Steve from I'm Enough Coaching. Just wanted to jump on and share a formula with you. So I was just sitting waiting for a client to turn up and they turned into a no-show, which sometimes happens and that's just how life is. But I didn't waste my time. Whilst I was sitting there um, waiting for them, I scrolled through Facebook. Now, Facebook is a great thing. Love Facebook. It gives me a lot of inspiration as well as a really good memory jogger. And I went to the memories on Facebook. And this time, 10 years ago, this time today, 10 years ago, was the point at which I'd reached a decision to leave the Royal Air Force. That was my choice. That was my moment of changing my life. Now, my life needed to change. Life was not going really well for me. And I had the opportunity after coming over to Australia on my military exchange where I'd met Shirley. Shirley had offered me to come and live with her in Australia. But that meant leaving my career, leaving my daughter and stepping into massively the unknown. However, what I've realized over these last 10 years is that I've used a formula to be able to create something from nothing. So when I turned up in Australia about nine and a half years ago, I had two bags of clothes and a little box of belongings with me. That was it. That's all I had. I didn't know what I was going to do for work. I didn't really know if this was going to work or not. But I made a promise on the aeroplane that I was going to do the very best that I could. That I was going to do whatever it took to make this life work. And little did I know, but I had created a formula to turn something, sorry, to turn nothing into something. And that's what I then started to think about. As I was sitting waiting for my client to turn up today, I was thinking, how did that actually happen? What did I do? And I've come up with four steps, four steps that helped me turn nothing into something. And when I say something, I mean my own business, doing what I love, being able to live my life on my own terms, being able to actually like me as a person, as a benefit. So step number one of turning nothing into something is imagination. We need to be able to have an imagination because it all starts with just a thought. Everything starts with a thought. So if we've got some imagination, if we've got some wonderment, if we've got some curiosity, if we've got the ability to come up with ideas, then this is where it all starts. We, it all starts with an idea. It all starts with, hmm, I wonder. You know, that, that, that moment of imagination that just gets the creative juices going. Without the thought, without that non-tangible thing, what we really struggle then with is to be able to do anything. We can't move forward without a thought. But how do we talk? How do we take that thought, that moment of inspiration, that imagination and turn that into reality? Well, the first thing that we do with our thought is we visualize. And this is what I did. I started to visualize what my life could be like in Australia, what it is that I could do. I used this tool of visualization a lot when I was in the military. I used it a lot to be able to train my recruits. And what I did then was I turned it on myself. I started to visualize what the opportunities are. What could the future look like? How could it start to take place? How would I feel on a regular basis? What would I be doing on a regular basis? And to be honest with you, the start of that process did not include coaching, did not include doing what I love and do now. It started with me thinking that I was going to be an IT project manager because that's what I did when I before I trained basic recruits. I was an IT project manager. I'd been involved in communications for over 20 years. I went away and I got all the degrees. I got three international degrees around IT project management and installations. When I got to Australia, though, they weren't accepted. They didn't recognize them. <laughs> they said, you have to do four years in TAFE. I was like, not doing that. So I started to try something else. But all the time I'm thinking of ideas. What else could I do? How could I make this happen? I started to see lots and lots of people in Australia running their own businesses. And I started to think, hmm, how do they do that? Maybe that's something that I could do. So step number one is imagination. To be able to have a thought, to be able to have some wonderment, to have some curiosity to take that thought into an idea, then to visualize what that would actually look like. Now, this is intangible. This is something that is only up here. It's an airy fairy dream at the moment. But we've got to start somewhere. 
Step number two is to create the belief around it. The belief, and as I've spoken about beliefs before, if you've watched a lot of my podcasts or, sorry, watched a lot of my faves, ugh, fair dinkum, <laughs> start that again. If you've watched a lot of my Facebook lives and listened to some of my podcasts, you will hear me talking about belief and the power of belief. Now, belief in its primary role is just a story. It's a story that we tell ourselves. It's a story based on evidence, evidence that we believe is true. Now, the story doesn't have to be true. I mean, you know, let's look at some of the common beliefs. I believe, personally, Oxford United are the greatest football team in the world. I've mentioned this again. But you know what? Looking at their results and where they are on the ladder at the moment, they are far from the greatest football team in the world. But I believe it. it's my story. It's the evidence that I've put around it. So this is what we need to be able to do. We take our idea, we take our thought, we take that imagination and we start to bring it to life. And we start to look for the evidence of how we can make this happen. Who has made this happen? How have they made this happen? When did they make this happen? What did they do to make this happen? Because there's plenty of people out there that we can role model. There's plenty of people out there who are achieving what we want to be able to achieve. And this is what I started to do. I started to look around and think, well, who else? is running their own business. Who else is doing this? It can't be that difficult. There's thousands of them out there doing it. They've all got this thing called an ABN, whatever that is. You know, how does that work? How do I register as a business? Do I need insurance? Do I need to pay a lot of money? Do I have to have, one of my beliefs was I had to have $40,000 just sitting in a bank account doing absolutely nothing. Well, do you know what? <laughs> that turned out to be a limiting belief. I only really needed about $500 which I did have. And once I'd got past my limiting belief, I started to create my own business. This is where I came up with the name I Am Enough Coaching. You know, I'm wearing the I Am Enough Coaching t-shirt today. I've got my banner behind me. That was me saying to myself that you're enough to do this, my friend. I had to believe in it. I had to believe in myself. I had to come up with the stories. I had to come up with the evidence. I had to look back in my past and say to myself, well, when have you faced these challenges before? How did you overcome them? What did you do? How did you implement it? Who did you learn from? Where did you get your inspiration from? So this is where we now start to really believe in our thoughts, in our ideas in step one, because we've moved to step two, which is the belief, the stories. We started to look for the evidence that we've possibly done this in the past or that certainly other people have done this around us. And we can use those as our role model, as our benchmark. Then we move to step number three. Step number three is turning these thoughts, these ideas into reality. It's actually doing the work. It's committing to doing the work. And when I say do the work, I mean do the work. I'm not talking about going half assed You either commit or you don't. Like it says on the back of my T-shirt. <clears throat> I've got Yoda on the back of my T-shirt. Hang on, see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that, but Yoda's on there. <laughs> Why? Because Yoda is one of my mentors, believe it or not. And I love his phrase. And it actually says at the bottom of my T-shirt, do or do not. There is no try. So I started to go at it wholeheartedly, just like I've done in the past. Everything that I do, I tend to go in 100%. It's a do or do not situation. I either do it or I don't do it. But you know what? I also failed. I failed loads and loads of times. And again, that's a reality of life. It's something that I've lived many times before. And I've learned that from my mistakes, I find a pathway. I find a way forward. Every time I fall over, all I've done is I've been able to work out a way of not doing it. So I pick myself up and I park that idea over there. I don't want to be doing that one again. That's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different to happen. It won't. You do the same thing, you're going to get the same outcome. So let's not make the same mistakes. So you've got to go to work. You've got to learn your lessons from your history. You've got to work out what's working and what's not. And you've got to have tenacity. You've got to have the ability to be able to push through when the going gets tough. And the reason that we can push through is because we've got a very, very, very strong why. See this little blue book here? I think that is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. When I read that book, he made me realize that I needed to have the, the strongest why in the universe to be able to get this off the ground. My why was because I don't have any other options. 
my three international degrees didn't mean squat in Australia. I'd realised that I couldn't work within corporate Australia. It just didn't work for me. I didn't like the environment. It just triggered me left, right and Chelsea. So I decided I was going to work for myself. So even in my quarterly and yearly goals now, still, we're talking probably six years on now, it still says, do not ever give up because the alternative is going to work for somebody else. And I don't want that to happen. So this is my why. When you've got a strong enough why, you can push through almost absolutely anything, which leads me on to step number four. Step number four of creating nothing from something is discipline. If you don't have discipline, if you don't have the self-discipline to be able to push through the tough times, to be able to get on and do the work, then you are going to struggle in creating nothing, sorry, creating something from nothing. Keep getting those two mixed up. So discipline is the repeated outcomes. It's the repeated actions that we need to take over and over again and refining those, having the discipline to be able to look back and go, "Hmm, okay, well, that didn't go as well as I thought it would do. What can I try differently? Who's done something different? Where have they done it before? So again, we go back to role modeling. But discipline is that repeated thing, getting up every single day and implementing it every single day until you get your outcome. Now, In the post that I did whilst I was waiting for this client to turn up, I mentioned that past Steve made this decision not knowing if it was going to work out. But do you know what? I am so grateful, so absolutely thankful to the previous version of me, the old Steve, the 10 year ago Steve, for having the courage to make that decision, to have the courage to put in my notice to quit a 26 year career. I didn't know anything different. I joined the Air Force from the age of 16 and a half when I was a little boy coming out of school all the way up to being 40 something years old. Yeah. So that was a massive step for me. So for me to be able to quit that, I thank my previous version of myself for having the courage to be able to do that. I've then been able to be grateful and thankful for the iterations of myself as I grew and as I developed and I became the person that I am today. And I thank that that iteration of Steve because it's helped me become the person that I am today. It's helped me to achieve and realise a job of my dreams. I didn't even know it was a job of my dreams to start off with, but I just knew that something good was going to happen. I believed in it. Now, present day Steve... I'm hoping we'll still have the courage to make good decisions, good choices, so that the future Steve, maybe the 10 year Steve ahead, you know, when I'm 62, fair income, 62 years old. Wow. I didn't even think I'd make it past 30. Anyway, here I am, 62 maybe in 10 years time. Am I going to be sitting here being grateful and thankful for the decisions that not only previous Steve from 20 years ago made, but previous Steve today made? Because it comes down to the discipline. It comes down to the imagination. It comes down to the beliefs. So these three simple steps, imagination, we've got to start with a thought. Then we move to belief. Then we move to realization, making it happen. This is how we turn nothing into something. Because I literally went from not having a job to now being able to have a business that not only supports me, but enriches me and helps me achieve my goals as well as other people's goals. I am super grateful that I've been able to say yes. But ultimately, the thing that underpins all of that is step number four, which is discipline. Discipline turns imagination into outcomes. Discipline turns nothing into something. And if you haven't got the discipline, then you're really going to struggle. But it doesn't have to stop there. Just because you think, oh, no, I don't have the discipline. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Discipline is something that you build over a period of time. It's like a habit. Once you start to see the evidence, once you start to have a go and say yes and work out what's working and what's not working, then you start to receive the benefits. You start to get the good outcomes and you layer on top of that. You go, wow, that worked. Well, if that worked, maybe that'll work. And if that worked, maybe that'll work. And do you know what? Sometimes you might fall down a few steps, but you're better off than where you started, which is right down here. So what do you do? You pick yourself up and you go again. You go, that would try, try. That might work. That might work. And what we start to then grow is wisdom because we are getting good at what we're doing and we stop making the same mistakes. We start making new ones 
that's perfectly fine because we're actually going to grow and develop through those mistakes. But we don't ever give up. We don't fall down in a heap and say, stuff this. I'm over it. What a stupid idea, because that is where failure is. What we do is we get back up, we bounce back up and we go, right, OK, well, that didn't quite work. What can I go at now? Who's done this before? What mistakes did they make? We can learn from other people's mistakes. We don't have to make the same mistakes. So this is discipline. It's just that repeatedly going at it, because if you've got it up here, if you've imagined it and you believe in it, you can achieve it. And this is the key to making nothing. Sorry, keep saying it the wrong way around. This is the key to making something from nothing. So look, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Perhaps you've already done this. Perhaps you've been through this process. I'd love to hear your thoughts around it. I'd love to hear what your formula is, because this is just my formula. This is just my idea. Now, it seems to work. I share it with lots of people and they go out and they achieve creating something from nothing. Got it right that time. But, you know, it's not saying it's the only formula. And if you could share with me your thoughts, if you can share with the page your ideas, because what you'll do is you might actually inspire somebody through what you're sharing and help them make the life changing decision that will their future 10 year self will be thanking them for taking. So be part of the solution. Share your comments, your thoughts down below. Beautiful. Look. I'm so pleased that I was able to share this with you today. I hope it serves you well, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're up to. Until the next time we chat, stay safe. And remember, you can achieve absolutely anything. If you can think it, if you can believe in it. So think, believe, realisation and discipline. Those are the four formulas, four strategies to achieving, getting something out of nothing. Until the next time we talk, stay safe. Speak soon. Bye bye.